Hey, thank you so much for joining us today. As we've been talking about the authority we have as a believer, you know, this makes me excited. This gives me joy. It should make you excited. It should give you joy. Why? Because we don't have to allow the enemy to have a place in our life. Let me say that to you again. You don't have to allow the enemy, the devil, a place in your life. It says in the scripture, you know, we have to base our life on the word of God. You can't base, I can't base my life on people giving me prophetic words. No, we base our life. Thank God we don't have to base our life on that. We base our life on the word of God. What does the word of God say? You can't, you don't base your life on a music lyric. It could be unbiblical. It could be the opposite of faith. It could be all full of fear. No, you base your life on the word. The word of God says, give no place to the devil. Give no place to the devil. Other translations say this, don't allow the enemy to have high carnival in your life. Don't allow him to rule your life. Why? Because we have authority. This is something that we don't need to just know. We need to know how to exercise it and how to do it. Faith without works is dead. You can know all about the authority you have been given. You can read books about it. You can sing songs about it. You can do deep eschatology studies on the authority, but you need to know how to exercise your authority. We talked last week about Jesus. He knew his authority. When he was on the boat sleeping, there was destructive winds that came against that boat. It said it was like a hurricane. There was water filling the boat. They were going to sink. His disciples said one thing. They said this, Master, they woke him up. Don't you care? We're, we're going to die. We're going to perish. Jesus got up and he rebuked the storm. What? He took his authority over the storm. You know, people think sometimes God, like I said, I was watching a video of a minister and he was praying to God not to send the destructive winds and Lord, we, we love it when you send rain, but don't send too much rain. It's not God who's sending the hurricane. It's the enemy. It's Satan. He is the God of this world. And it says he blinds the unbelievers' minds. And he wants to blind a lot of Christians. He wants Christians to think God sends hurricanes. God sends destructive uh, rains. God sends destructive winds. And he doesn't. Jesus, when this was happening on the boat, the wind was, was going forth. The rain was filling the boat. It said it was like a hurricane. And Jesus rebuked the storm. He took his authority. If it was his father behind the storm, he would have been working against his father. No, it was Satan behind the storm. And Jesus took his authority and the, the weather obeyed. And then he spoke to the disciples after that. Why do you have no faith? Why are you so timid? So we need to know as believers, as Christians, we need to know, we need to have faith in God, and we need to know the authority that we've been given and how to exercise it. Jesus exercised his authority. When he preached, when he ministered, people, they made a comment in the scriptures about Jesus. When he preached and ministered, they said, who is this guy? He preaches with authority. So we need, especially in these very last days, the final moments, Jesus is coming soon. We need to not be timid. We can't be passive. We need to know the authority we have through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 10. The authority has been given to us. Luke chapter 10, verse 17. The 70 returned with joy. I'm reading out the Amplified Classic. The 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us through your name. So the enemy, there are demons out there. There is a real devil out there. There are demons. There are evil spirits. But thank God we don't have to be afraid of them. We, know, we need to know we have authority over them. 
And the 70, were, they came back with joy and they said, Jesus, they, they are subject to us through your name, the name above every name. At the name of Jesus, every demon has to flee. And they saw the results of that. They, they put it into practice. They go, wow, we, we, we see it, Lord. The power in your name. Evil spirits, listen, because in the name of Jesus. They're all excited, full of joy. And Jesus said to them, I saw Satan fall like a lightning flash from heaven. Behold, listen to this, verse 19. Behold, listen, pay attention. Yeah, it's great you have joy. You know, yeah, the devil, the demons are subject to you through my name. But behold this, I've given you something. This is what Jesus is saying here. I have given you authority and power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and physical and mental strength and ability over all. What's all in the Greek? What does that mean, all in the Greek? It means all, over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall in any way harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that the spirits are subject to you. How are the spirits subject to you? Because some, you know your authority. You know about the name of Jesus. You can't do it in your own strength. You can't use your own name. It's the name of Jesus. But rejoice that your names are enrolled in heaven. I want to repeat this again. Verse 19, Jesus is saying to us right now, behold, I've given you power. I've given you authority. The King James says power. Other translations like the Amplified Classic said, I've given you authority over all the power of the enemy. I want to encourage you. You have been given authority over not just 75% of what the enemy is trying to do, over all, over all what the enemy is trying to do in your life, over stealing, killing, destroying, you being given, behold, I've given you authority and power over all the power that the enemy possesses. Hallelujah. We need to know how to use it. We need to know what's been given to us and how to exercise it. How do you exercise the authority that's been given to you? By what you say. And you speak to the spirits, you speak to the enemy, and you come against them, and you use that name. Just like the disciples said, Master, they came back with joy. The devils, the demons are subject to us through that name, through your name. You use the name, and you speak it, and you decree it, and you declare it. You don't say, I don't know, you don't say this. I don't know if today's going to be a good day. Maybe I might not make it. I feel sick. I feel like I'm, I'm going to give up and I might not live for the next year. No, you say this. In the name of Jesus, I take my authority daily. Satan, evil spirits, you won't put sickness in this house. You won't put disease in this house. You won't put mental problems in this house. I come against it in Jesus' mighty name. You take your authority. You take your place. I'm just reminded right now, the Holy Spirit reminded me of this story. I have never, I don't know if I've ever shared this story or not, but when I was a little boy, my mom, she can tell you, my mom had warts all over her hands. When I say warts, I mean about 20 to 30 big warts on her hands. Not very pleasing, not, not something you want as a, as a lady, you know, and, uh, having warts all over your hands. And my mom would go get them removed and they would come back. And I remember, and, and I, I was probably five years old and I still remember it very clear. You know, I grew up in a Christian home, a ministry home. So I always knew about the word. Uh, I knew about, you know, the name of Jesus, even when I was little, but I remember seeing those warts and I remember where I was at. I was in my mom's room and she, I told my mom, I was five years old. I said, mom, let me see your hands. And she gave me her hands covered in warts. And I screamed. I said, in Jesus name, warts, you leave. You don't stay on my mom's hands anymore. I curse you. I curse you in Jesus name. 
I was five years old and I screamed it. Let me tell you, my mom woke up and every wart was gone and they never came back. You are a son. You are a daughter of God. Doesn't matter how old you are. Doesn't matter how young you are. You have authority. And the enemy wants to tell you you don't, but he's a liar. Use your authority daily against the enemy. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with more videos. Make sure to like this video. Subscribe. God bless.